everybody. It's Dr. Sam, and I'd like to welcome you to my Eye Clarity Podcast. So before we get to today's show, I want to give you some ways to contact me. You can send me your questions at hello at drsamburn.com, or you can text them to me at 1-844-932-1291. I want to let you know about my new membership program. This is an exclusive membership where you get access to my content and resources, new information, articles, videos, webinars, even a live Q&A where I will answer your questions. So you'll be able to access valuable information to empower you to make informed decisions about your vision and your health. I'll be offering personalized support and coaching, giving you recommendations, helping you with goal setting, accountability, so you can achieve your goals. This is a convenient way for you to access me 24-7 without paying for appointments or going to your doctor every week. So I'm so excited about this. I hope you can join me. And by the way, if you do join, you'll get access to my advanced workshops in aromatherapy, color and light therapy, nutrition, and physical vision therapy. So to sign up, go to my website, www.drsamburn.com. Now to today's show. Hey everyone, welcome to the program today. I want to take on a subject that I've talked about in the past, and that is how to get rid of eye floaters. Now, I have a really effective protocol, but I'm going to add to that today based on a 2020 research study that was published in Applied Science. Three different proteolytic enzymes were used, fysin, bromelain, and papain. Now, these enzymes are found in the fruit family. I'm going to talk more specifically where you can get them and how the study came about. So in this particular study, it was done between April and December of 2017 in Taiwan. There were 280 subjects. They were broken down into two groups. One received placebo. The other received three sets of proteolytic enzymes. The enzymes were fysin, papain, and bromelain. So the results clearly showed that those that received the proteolytic enzymes had a significantly lower amount of vitreous opacities, better known as floaters. The researchers wrote that some of the subjects who took these proteolytic enzymes actually had an improvement in their collagen structures in the vitreous. So just to remind you, the vitreous is in the posterior part of the eye, the back part of the eye, and it's made up of over 98% of water, but it also is comprised of collagen bundles. So when the collagen either solidifies or it breaks down, This is one of the main causes of floaters. Now, sometimes there's inflammation, sometimes there can be hemorrhaging, but the bottom line is the vitreous loses its integrity, and this is where we get those spider-like webs, the dots, the spots that are very troubling for us that cause the eye floaters. So these proteolytic enzymes help break down protein. Now, where do you get these? So, fysin can come from fig trees. It's also found in papayas and pineapples. The second type of proteolytic enzyme is called papain. The main source of this enzyme is from papayas. And then the third type of proteolytic enzyme is bromelain. And bromelain comes from pineapples. I have reported on another study that showed that sources of bromelain has also been found to reduce vitreous floaters. 
Now, as a side note, I have put bromelain in my digestive enzyme, and sometimes we don't produce enough of these enzymes, and this is caused by a lower functioning pancreas because the pancreas produces pancreatic enzymes. And so just to note, the combination of using the MSM 15% eye drops and this digestive enzyme, which I both uh, recommend, can help reduce vitreous floaters. I wanna go through the list of certain fruits that contain these enzymes. We have kiwi fruit, fermented foods like kefir, kimchi, and sauerkraut, ginger, asparagus, yogurt. So not only do these proteolytic enzymes help reduce floaters, but they improve collagen health. They can increase wound healing. You know, in some of my other podcasts, I've talked about if you've got scar tissue in the eyes, I would definitely be taking proteolytic enzymes. Now, one that isn't included in this list, which has been shown to help reduce scar tissue in the eyes, is serapeptase. But the bottom line is these proteolytic enzymes are anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer. They might reduce some of the symptoms in irritable bowel syndrome or muscle soreness. So to tie all this together, my advice would be if you are suffering floaters, I would consider adding at least one, if not all of these proteolytic enzymes to your diet. Now, if you want, you can use my protocol, which is the 15% MSM eye drops, which also is a collagen creator. It's anti-inflammatory, it's very lubricating. And then on a systemic level, you can use my digestive enzyme, which contains bromelain in it, which has been spotlighted as a way to improve vitreous health. So take note of this. I'm very excited to share it pass it on. So that's our show for today. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, take care. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from the iClarity podcast show today. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to subscribe on iTunes or Spotify and leave a review. See you here next time.